It's a done deal. There will be a bike path on part of Central Parkway, but it looks a little bit different than the original plan. Local 12's Brad Underwood is live with the compromise reached by City Council. Brad. Well, hey, Kimmy, it was a very close vote today inside City Hall, 5 to 4, but the project will move forward, and those bike lanes on Central Parkway will be protected, which means they'll be separated by a barrier from traffic on Central Parkway. The compromise here, 23 parking spaces will be saved in between Ravine and Brighton. The project will create two bike lanes, one in each direction on Central Parkway. The lanes will connect downtown, over the Rhine, and the West End. It will also run through University Heights, Clifton, and Northside. The project was approved by the previous city council and up until recently seemed like a simple project to get approved by May 1st. However, over the past week, businesses spoke up about traffic and parking concerns. It's amazing how difficult it was to get to this point, but the biking community um, uh, came out to, to support, and uh, so that, that made the difference, I think. I worry that it's going to... Uh hurt the commuters, you know, because essentially you get four lanes down to two on a major artery in the downtown. So I was hoping that that, that would change, but council refused to do that. The city of Cincinnati did receive a $500,000 federal grant, which will cover most of the costs uh, for this project going down the road. But in order to keep those parking spaces, the city is going to have to remove 15 trees along Central Parkway. That's going to cost taxpayers uh, in the city about $110,000. Reporting live outside City Hall, Brad Underwood, Local 12 News. Cami. All right, Brad, thank you. And a start date for construction on the Central Parkway bikeway has not yet been announced, but Vice Mayor David Mann says that he is hopeful the lanes will be open for riders in a couple of months.